everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'm finally going to get to do a video because I've been on the road all morning with the dog and Phil and every time I would come out of a different store, Phil would make a face and go, don't you have it yet? No, I was trying to find this Vels Spar house paint and I have so many paints, I couldn't remember where I got it. I said to Phil, okay, I think I got it at Home Depot. Going to Home Depot? They don't have it. I said, Oh, I think I got it at Walmart. He goes, oh, okay, we'll go to Walmart. Went into Walmart, they didn't have it. So I went, oh, I'm thinking, oh God, I gotta go back to the car and tell them they don't have it. He's gonna go, my gosh. I said, oh, we gotta go to Lowe's because I know they have it. He goes, you know, I have stuff to do. I went, what do you have to do? He goes, well, I have nothing to do and all day to do it. I go, well then just zip it and enjoy the ride. So I got my Velspar house paint. So I'm putting that on an eight by 10 canvas. Then those paints that I used for one of the videos, they didn't have enough metallic in them. So I added the iridescent uh, metallic now by Artist Loft into it. Those and were the folk art paints. Yeah, and they are supposed to be, you know, really metallic-y. Well, they weren't. They're pretty, but they just didn't have enough zip for me. So we're gonna try this. So we're gonna try this new paint because they're supposed to cause more cells. We're gonna see. Because my cells are probably gonna be aggravated. So I have to put my base down on my eight by 10 canvas. I probably should have let this maybe sit for a little while because I had the guy shake it at Lowe's. That, that almost looks thicker to me than the other paint. It possibly could be. Because it's um, it's making those little waves and the other paint just kind of spread out more quickly. But we'll see. It might be because it was shook this morning. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we're going to see all right. But yeah, it does look thicker. And it uh, you can actually thin this paint with some water if you want to. I don't, want to, I don't want to do any of that because I want to test this first. So I'm going to put my colors down. So that, again, that was folk art paint and you added some accelerate, I mean... Uh, Phil, it's not, I added the iridescent Oh, that's right. You added, medium. You added iridescent medium to it. And it's not, it. it's oh. not accelerator. Remember? What is it? Activator. Activator. No. Okay, this is just... This is just paint that I mixed up that we're trying on this. That's what we're doing. We're going to see what happens here. Oh, I have an itch. So needless to say, we didn't really get much accomplished yet today because we've been looking for this stupid paint. And then Phil always says to me, well, you know, if you'd write this stuff down and where you got it, we wouldn't have to run all over. Well, it's not like we have a whole bunch to do here. <laughs> well, they also had a nice, uh, some nice sales on canvas too. So we went around to... Uh... Hobby Lobby and Michaels to get canvases, so it's quite the morning of running around. It was, and the poor dog was stuck in the car because Phil is couch potato and he had to stay in the car and just play his games while I was doing all this shopping. When she, because here in Arizona it's uh, very uh, dog friendly. A lot of the stores, they allow you to bring your dog in, which is nice. But we have her in a, uh, a, a buggy. A doggy buggy, yeah. She loves it. Okay, I'm going to use both of my cell activators today on this again. That was the black cell activator. This is the black. Okay. And this is my white. So we're going to see what happens here. 
with this new base paint and everything and how I mixed up the paint. So, oh, where's my little stickeroo? I see a little bubble here. Yeah, see, this is going to have bubbles because um, it was shook this morning. Okay. I'm going to blow now. You gotta get a lazy Susan. You wouldn't have to be picking it up. You know, I did have one, and I gave it to Fallon. That's my granddaughter. It's not like she's gonna use it anytime too soon. Oh, did I get that in my hair? No, you're, oh. you're fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. I think the colors are a little bit more vivid, but we'll see. Yeah. We shall see. That, uh, that base paint flows pretty nice. Yeah, it does. It actually does. I think it almost flows better than the other one. Yeah. I agree. It flows quicker and it seems like the paint flows into it faster too. So we'll see if that's a benefit or not. We'll find out. Oh look at there's a heart. Yeah. Well not for too long. It's a little blue heart there. Mm-hmm. I just went over there and then you tilted the Why other don't way. you just stay Well, put. hey, I'm trying to stay put. Get the best view we can of what's happening here. I know you went to videographer school. Yeah. Mm hmm You need to go to uh editing school. Oh, that's getting quite interesting there. I think these paints are better actually with that um, iridescent medium in it. Well, that should help, that's for sure. I gotta bring this back. I still don't think they're as bright as there, those, uh, those no. other paints you made I don't with either. the. Uh, I don't either. And they're supposed to be, but they're not. Which, they should be a lot brighter than what they are. I mean, a lot brighter. Well, they look, you know, they, they, they look bright by themselves here. I'm showing that. But uh, together, they're just, more subdued. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty. Mm -hmm. They're pretty, but I'm just kind of disappointed in them because I think they should be brighter. But I do like um, how this new base flows. Yeah. I really I like it we'll, a lot. Uh, we'll try the base with some of the brighter Colors. Colors, uh, you know, and paints that you make up. I have to make up some new ones today anyway, so we'll try them with the new ones. At least, uh, you know, I think the base is something that uh, we can use on other projects. Now there are some freckles coming through the white freckles. Yeah. I wonder why that's doing that. But. Hmm. It's kind of strange. It's pretty. I mean, well, yeah, it has, very, a nice, very it has a nice composition to it, mm -hmm. um, and it's soft, so if you're looking for really a softer painting, um, 
that's that's fine. I just um, I would prefer personally just more, more vivid, yeah, and me brighter, too. brighter colors uh, on the painting. Yeah, I would too. All right. Well, when I make up those other paints, you'll be able to see a huge difference, though. So oh. it'll well, be this good. was our. This was our, just an our, experiment. Your first, uh, with... Yeah, first attempt an experiment with this new paint. So and. Um, I like the base paint. I, yeah. I really like it. This was our second try with those, uh, those folk colors. art colors, yeah. and I just don't think that's something you know that we would. Continue you know what to I use. might what I might want to do is um, add the fluid, to the those, golden fluid. To the yeah, folk to art these paints. paints. Mm -hmm. oh. It might well, make them a little bit more, more time, vivid. I, I mean, I, I don't know. You've given them two good tries, and yeah, they, exactly. Uh, they just don't seem to no. you know shout out at me no. anyways. Well, all right, everybody. Shout out to you. Let's give a shout out to Phil. Yay! Okay, well, anyways, enough of that. We'll move on to the closure. Uh, remember, subscribe, ring the bell, share it with your friends if you want, and until the next time, bye! Take one last look at this. What's, what's happening?